never gotten actually as far as the top step of these stairs. Certainly, I had never gotten in that building. You know, I want to see this voter registration office <laughs> that we were trying to get to in 1965. So, the six of us walked in, looked down the hall, signed voter registration, we walked down, we opened the door. It was either we were exceedingly lucky, and this was one of the two days a month it was open, but I don't think so. It was open every day. And there were two friendly women in there who saw us in the door and said, come on in. They were both black. But they said they, they did have an assistant who was white, who worked half time. Uh, and one of those women said that she had a picture of herself with Dr. King. She was born on January 15th, 1965. Dr. King's picture was taken holding this baby who shared his birthday. Uh, one son-in-law is, an, is an attorney. I tried to peek into the courtroom upstairs where we were given this magnificent trial and was shooed out by the, by the bailiff fairly officious bailiff. Son-in-law passed in his business card, Timothy A. Pori, Esquire of California, and he was invited to come on in, <laughs> and he, he asked if he could bring me with him. So I got to see the courtroom in action now. And the judge on the bench was African American. He seemed, unlike Judge James Hare, to know what he was doing, <laughs> pay some passing attention to the law on the subject at hand, and to be handling cases very expeditiously but compassionately. The, you know, the sort of judge you know, if I need to be in front of a judge, I want it to be somebody like this. And believe me, it was incredibly refreshing to see that in this particular courtroom. So, that may be enough standing here on the sidewalk. <laughs> the bus is closed. <laughs> <laughs>